Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you for joining me again on another, another episode of I Care. I want to thank my uh, pastor, uh, Dumas, uh, for sharing with you last week for me. I really appreciate him stepping in for me. Uh, the Lord our God is faithful. He's growing up other people to do great things in the ministry. And so I thank him for standing in for me on last week. But this week, I again want to welcome you and I thank God for each and every one of you. And I know God is going to do some wonderful and awesome things in your life because he cares for you. Well, I want to talk to you this week about patience, patience, patience. And the reason I want to talk to you about patience is because very few of us exercise patience. And patience is a very powerful characteristic to have in your life because, again, it causes you to be able to be at rest. It causes you to be able to, to be at peace when you are patient. When you get anxiety and you get frustrated and you get upset, then that disturbs your peace. Patience will help to keep you in your peace. It will help you to be able to deal with situations and not only deal with situations, but also to deal with people. Because again, we don't want to allow anything to disturb our peace. You know, the word of God declares, it says this, it says, great peace have them that love your law and nothing, would you say nothing? Nothing shall offend them. Nothing shall offend them. Well, why would nothing offend them? Nothing offends them because they have the peace of God. When you know the word and you study the word and you activate the word in your life, you will not, you will not allow anything to disturb your peace. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And therefore, you learn how to exercise patience. Patience is not doing nothing. It's not, it doesn't mean that you do nothing. But patience is simply that you are at rest in yourself for things to come to pass that you've been looking for. And God is a faithful God, and he will do what he promised that he was going to do. Listen to this. We have around us many people whose lives tell, a, uh, tell what faith means. So let us run the race that is set before us and never give up. We should remove from our lives anything and everything that would get in the way and the sin that easily sets us back or holds us back. Now, you say, what did that got to do with patience? Well, that's old scripture is patience. Hallelujah. The whole thing, it talks about patience, really, because when you're in faith and you do what the word declares that you're doing, or to do rather, then you find yourself, watch this, undisturbed. You find yourself where you won't be in the troubles that others are, the others that find themselves in. So one of the key things, again, is patience, 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 patience. I want to say that again. It's patience. You know, when you act out of, of, of anxiousness and you act out of um, fear and fret and so forth, then you're going to probably make the wrong choice. You're probably going to make the wrong move. But patience will hold you down. Patience will give you the opportunity, watch this, to think things through properly. I care.